the spaceship. I need to know. Are you going to tell me who this belongs to? Look, man, I, I was just fronting. I, I was trying to scare you. I have no clue who ship that is. You're lying. Look, you're sick. <laughs> just let me go. I, I'll bring back help. Oh, sure. You think anyone's going to help me? The doctors don't even have a name for what's killing me. You're dying? Yes. But not before I prove I am not some sideshow freak, a quack doctor who sells media rocks on the side of the road. And if you don't tell me what I want to know, then you're dying to. Hamilton reports finding large concentrations of meteor fragments spread over a large area south of County Highway 17. These fragments vary in circumference from 24 microns, 5 to 562 millimeters. Interesting reading, Dad. Lex, I didn't uh, hear you come in. I'm surprised. Dr. Rawlings says he's noticed a marked improvement in your other senses since you lost your sight. You spoke to Rawlings. You can imagine my surprise when he told me how worried he was that you'd gone AWOL and missed your last several physical therapy sessions. In fact, he says the worst thing for you right now is to be away from your care providers. Do you have any idea how degrading it is to be constantly poked and prodded by occupational therapists? How demeaning it is to be told by a, a braille instructor, one day, one day, all this will feel natural. You want the truth? Thanks. I was tired of being treated like a, an object, an invalid. I had to get away from that. So you decided a couple of days of Oedipal mono and mono would make you feel better? Your analogy is apt but flawed, Lex. Blind uh, Oedipus was the son, not the father. He... I'll go back to Metropolis. So uh, your sudden interest in Dr. Hamilton was really just a coincidence? I admit I find his work intriguing. He's sick, possibly delusional. Never underestimate the value of eccentrics and lunatics, Lex. Every Arthur needs his Merlin. Hamilton said that he found some sort of um, disc and that you had it. He's mistaken. No, oh, even so, I think it may have been a bit rash to terminate his contract. Why do you say that? Have you taken a look in the good doctor's barn lately? <laughs> 